two decades of creating theater here, some of my most rewarding experiences here at the Fountain have been connected to our educational outreach program that we do. The many ways which we serve young people here in that community is just profoundly important to, to all of us here at the Fountain. To bring in a, a, a busload of young people, of students from anywhere in the region, to bring them here to the Fountain Theater and have a life-changing experience of seeing, for some of them, the first play they've ever seen professionally in their lives, and see the effect that it has on them. You see their eyes widen and their, their mouths open, and it is just tremendously gratifying to me as a theater artist and as a parent to, to really feel like we're doing something important to educate and enrich the lives of students throughout Southern California. I'm not sure if I've ever been to a live play, but I felt like the emotions are very raw. So it was right in front of you. And you like usually you're used to see it on the screen and you could cry about it and stuff, but it isn't it isn't really like there. Like it isn't it isn't touching you in the heart. But seeing it seeing it like face to face is really something that I don't know, you don't know how to react sometimes. You're just like taken aback. When I heard we were gonna come to a small theater, like, you know, I didn't think much about it, like, you know. I kinda of was like, Oh, like, you know, it's still a play, like, you know, not that big of a deal though. But then I sat in it and the lights started dimming and the music started playing and it like, and the actors were there on stage. And it just felt so intimate and so, it just felt more real. I've never seen like a live play before and um, watching this really, it really got that emotional connection, you know? And it really made me feel scared. And I'm not one to watch the news and keep up with the politics, you know? And watching this play really got me thinking like, Holocaust happened in other parts of the world and you don't really think about that happening here, but maybe it's our turn to face that reality and finally learn from it. I have a personal commitment to the Fountain Theater's arts education program. I think the work we do um, brings so many important subject matters and ideas uh, and communities uh, you know, in, into the into focus, and for young students, um, in particularly um, all the diverse communities that make up Los Angeles, I think that it's an opportunity for them to develop a sense of compassion for people that are different from themselves, to experience an art form that's alive, that's not standing in front of a screen, um, and I think it just really brings literary and 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 community ideas to the fore for them and makes it makes things much more real for them. So I mean the show was like emotional at some point. Mostly when um, was it right here, right? Uh huh. When he said the taco truck, I really started crying because this actually happened, like it always happens, like it's a crime for people make jokes about it and mostly when they're like racist about it which made me cry a lot because it always happens in life. Um, also just the fact that we're Hispanic ourselves just made us realize how often these racist remarks are being made and we just turn our blind eye to it. Um, yeah, it was really touching to me. I could relate to it on so many levels. When I was a kid, 
I was given the opportunity to see a lot of live theater and to participate in live theater and make it a part of my life and to experience the joy of the collaborative process on stage and being creative and building a world with other people. And that's the kind of stuff that really helps you see the world in a more humane light. And that's something that should be available to everybody. Theater, especially intimate theater, shouldn't be a, a, a ritzy thing or a class thing. It, it's for everyone. And we can make that possible. Um, I think one thing I can pull out of this play is that it was very mind-opening. Um, there were a lot of um, controversy between the two characters and it helped me um, see two sides of, of people who are in this kind of situation. Um, I'm just very mind blown and it's it's crazy because you watch, you know, YouTube videos and like all these other kind of media like TVs and movies and um, but like watching it as a live play it, it gives a lot of impact because you can actually you can feel the person's emotion and you can feel um, how they feel in that situation and it's kind of intense it's like it's something that's almost unexplainable until you actually experience it and so um, I figured that out of everything I can think about um, eye-opening and um, wanting to change um, my decisions as a, a citizen in this country um, you know it impacted me a lot tonight um, I think about how the play it affected me about how he talks about there's a great wall physically and mentally and geologically it's like both ways like it, as in it, they're they're not a physical wall it's just like people um people making that wall and like choosing different and otherwise so yeah the play was pretty cool um i say this was the best play i ever seen because most of the plays I've been to was like romance and that's pretty much it. Yeah, this play was real life. <laughs> yeah, it was honest and it was amazing. As we all know, arts education in the schools, uh, budgets for arts education in the classroom have been cut dramatically throughout not only the state of California, but across the United States. Uh, school budgets are being slashed, and oftentimes, one of the first things to go are uh, classes for arts, for the arts. So, so many of our, of our young people are being deprived of having an art class in their local school. So, therefore, I feel like it's up to us even more as a, as a non-profit arts organization to step up to the plate and provide arts education to young people, especially in our community. I mean, to me, there is no higher calling, really. Uh, to see the face of a young person light up when they come here to the Fountain Theater, either to see a play or to engage with an actor, to talk about how they created a role or to participate in some kind of art project that we do here at the Fountain, is just so profoundly rewarding and important because it means that we are able to provide an invaluable service uh, to enrich the lives of young people throughout Los Angeles and Southern California, especially in this time of need of budgetary cuts and I think a devaluing of arts education uh, uh, on many levels in, in state and local governments. To me and to I know many parents I know, art education is, is not a luxury, it's a necessity. And if the Fountain Theater can help provide that to young people in our community, then I feel there's no greater good that we can do.